Hello there, everybody. What it is? My name is Supersonic Blur. Though probably better off to just call me the stupid, dumb, moronic, dumb, stupid, idiot person for today. Because since uploading the first two of the series of How It Be, there has been a fundamental massive flaw in my mathematics and word processing and stuff like that. So, now that it has been brought to my attention, it has been thoroughly explained, uh, understood, and now we are working on fixing the mistakes that I made. So, while I said how it were, uh, how it be, this is how it really be. So, let's first explain exactly what I did when, when I did wrong. First of all, I started off going with the protections that I, uh, or sorry, I went with the protections. So I had this graph line here, and I had this graph line here for Obsidian Shard, and I just went, oh, I've got, I've got two points on a line, let's connect those up. That is wrong. The way that I should have done it to work that piece out isn't actually the amount of protections that you have, it's the percentage of penetration that the item is giving that's going to be a straight line. So, for the Obsidian Shard, in terms of percentage penetration, you can see that for the for the first values below 45 uh, or below 40, you're gonna get 15, and then you're gonna get the same thing when you're at the top when you're at uh, uh, when you're at over 200, you're gonna get 45. Now we have the exact same thing here. We have two points on a line. Hey, let's use y equals mx plus c. Plug those things in and you end up with this equation here, which is 3 sixteenths of x plus 7.5. And that just works. And there's another way that we can actually show this and do this. And it's really quite a fun one. So I think I'll show you anyway, because it's kind of fun. So y equals. Now, this is quite a fun little equation. and I'll explain everything. 15 is where we start at, and we need to end up at 45, so we need to add 30 to it. But, we need to add 30 over a period of time. So, the way that we're going to do this is we know that we're going to add 30 at 200, and we're going to add nothing at, uh, at, f uh, at the uh, 40. So, the way that we're going to show this is we're going to multiply this by a fraction. And that fraction is going to be x minus 40, so that when you're at 40 protections, you lose, you you multiply by, you, you have a fraction with a zero on the top. But then what we also need to do is we need to find out what we're going to put on the bottom. Now to show what we're going to put on the bottom, this is quite fun. We know that at 200, it has to equal 1. So 200 minus 40 happens to just quite nicely be 160. 160. And so this, as you can see, sits that exact same line. This is the way to calculate it as a uh, as an actual line, which is really kind of fun and nice and looks awesome. However, the reason why we're using the Y equals MX plus C is just because it's a little bit nicer to use. It doesn't look as scary, it's nicer to use, and it's also probably what Hi-Res actually used. But this is the actual way to, uh, to, to, to show what they've actually done. And these numbers are very easily changeable. Let's say you want to make it uh, 50 percent penetration well we're just gonna slap in another five there and you can see oh look we get more penetration when you scale up to 200 but we've changed it so that it's 250 okay well let's just make that 210 and oh look at that you get more protections when you're there and look at that it, it all scales up so you can you can mess with this one fairly easily and this is how they tinker with the things the line is just nice for us to look at so now that we have this we have the percentage of penetration. We can actually use this to put these into the graphs very nicely. And so what we've got here are three lines. And we have y equals x minus ax over 100. ax over 100 is literally the percentage, which in the first case for a will always be 15% times x is essentially what we've got. b will always be this fluctuating one because it just does that. And then C will always be this 45 here. And that's why we get this fun little curve that occurs here. The reason we get this curve is because you've got two terms of X uh, going through with something. And you've actually got two terms of X. You've got two terms of X being multiplied together. So you're going to get an, you're going to get a curve. So because you get a curve and because it's got a minus on the, uh, on the, squaring here you end up with this curve and this is what you actually end up with 
Now, again, I've done the exact same thing. I've got Spear of the Magus here. Here is Spear of the Magus. Now, it doesn't change too much for Spear of the Magus. It's still around the 150 mark that Obsidian Shard gets better. But what this graph has actually enabled me to do is it's also enabled me to properly show you guys how the protections work for uh, the Obsidian Shard. And as you can see, it looks something like this. Now, the reason we've got the percentage here is... The reason we've got the percentage is just because it's easier to shove these around. You can't... You don't have to worry about the variables and explaining things. And it, it just works, trust me. All this is here is this is the exact same thing that we've got kind of going on here. We have... This is the B. This is B here. And there's X in there. This is over the 100. This is making it a percentage. And then we're timesing it by S. So, that's what we're doing there. And this bit here is the exact same thing. It's S minus 0.45X, which is there. It's there. The only reason why we're doing it with this way is because we don't have to worry about these uh, cutoff values changing anything. So that all works out pretty nicely. What it also means that we can do is we can do this. And we can actually smush and slide the graph around, which is really, really nice. Uh, don't mind this. This is just so that this doesn't ping off further. This just makes it look nice. That's literally all it's there for. And as you can see, this is the remaining protections with the Obsidian Shard and Spear of the Magus. And then you can use this slider here for however many stacks you want. So that's what it looks like for Spear of the Magus. Titan's Bane is going to look a lot similar to this sort of thing in terms of its layout. The only difference being is that, of course, it's going to be with different looking numbers. So we're going to save that. And now we're going to pull across the Titan's Bane. And that's going to sit right there like that. So the exact same thing. Here's the percentage penetration. Hey, look, let's make a line. We can do Y equals MX plus C. So let's do that. And then we do that. And bam, there we get the line. Now we use these values and we put it into our formula of y equals x minus ax over 100 and then bx over 100 and cx over 100. And the exact same thing happens here. Hey guys, look, it's, 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 it's a curve, so that's going to work. Also, this should be the straight line. That's, uh, that's how the world should work. So let me just fix that. And yes, I'm doing this in the middle of it, but that's the point. Just, just, just. And then we have the Executioner, which is the exact same thing here. Now, the big difference with the Executioner is it's not at 150 protections. It is actually at 178.4. So that is a big, big difference. And now you can really start questioning and asking, hey, when is it better to get the Executioner? When is it better to get all these things? Now, uh... You know, what, when is it actually going to be better to pick that up? And what you can see here is, again, if we do just really quickly here, uh, you know, uh, let's just, let's just y equals 36. Again, you can see right here, it's exactly 134 protection, uh, 178 protections here. That's when y equals 36. So this graph here was going way up, way earlier. It was going, it, this was doing the curve, which is not what we wanted. We didn't want that bit to do the curve. Probably should have clued me in that something was completely wrong. But it didn't because I'm an idiot. But anyway, that's not the point. Next one, again, we've done the exact same thing. Uh, S is in place. This time it's E because E is for executioner. And S is for stacks. So, you know, that's the only real difference there. Uh, and again, just look here. Like, these are the exact same graphs. The exact same ways. And the exact same things. Now, the reason why this one looks different in comparison to the obsidian shard is because... We're not taking a flat amount off. We can't just shunt the whole graph over by 50 to the right. We can't do that because we're taking a percentage off. So it's going to be percentagely different. So you're actually, you're not just pulling, you're not just shunting the graph to the right. You're actually stretching the graph to the right. It's That's the translation that we're doing here because it's a percentage. And that's how, that, that's, that's how the maths do. That's how it works. So this is what you're actually getting here. Now, again... I haven't done what the percentage is uh, for this thing here, honestly. Uh, you could, we could probably work that out. And, you know, around here, you're going to get 50% penetration, which in comparison to the 100 here, you got 20% penetration with this. And, you know, uh, you know, coming up to 33%. So it's similar sort of things here. And then when you get up, uh, you get up here, you get, uh, you, 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 you got your amounts, you know, 70%. But, you know, that's, that's, that's sort of what you do in here. And there's probably a way of working this out, which looks really nice. 
but I don't know what it is, and I am not someone with a university degree in mathematics, so I don't want that to go wrong. So for now, just know that this is what you've got. This is the percentage penetration that Titan's Bane will give you. This is it in actual number form. Uh, this is the executioner, which shows you when it's gonna be the best. And the bottom line is one which just curves, because, you know, this is the if you get both of them, which, you know, looks nice, because, you know, I like things that look nice, so this is what they both look like. I will make sure that this video is plastered over the other two. If you are watching this, please, please, please make sure that this is the thing that you put to memory, not the other stuff, because the other stuff is wrong. But for the next episode, ladies and gentlemen, we're not going to be doing any more mathematics. We're just going to be looking at the breakdown of some things. And for that, we're going to be looking at damage types and exactly what that means. And for that, well, I'll see you in the next video. Don't want to spoil any of that too much. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, my name has been Supersonic Blood. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and favorite for more to share this stuff so people know that this exists. You guys have been a fantastic audience, and I shall see you all next time.